running from street level to the top, 83 stories above. In all, it took 43,000 panels, each weighing as much as a motorcycle. In 1973, when Big Stan opened its doors for business, it was the tallest marble-covered building in the world. But just a decade later, the shine began to fade. Routine inspections revealed the slick marble coat was cracking and in danger of crashing down to the ground. This is where restoration specialist Robert Gerskis came in. He captured this unique footage as he assessed the damage. We're up there on the, on the side of the building. We are shocked at the condition of the marble. The fear was that the sheets of rock, as heavy as two men, could have fallen from 80 stories up. As early as the construction phase, there were reports that the marble was not secure. It's reported that on Christmas Day in 1973, one of the slabs fell from Big Stan, and it pierced the roof of the neighboring office. The fact that it happened on a public holiday might have been a blessing in disguise. This is the actual piece from the Aeon buildings. Full panel, typical panel is like four foot by five foot. This is about 11 pound piece right here. A thousand feet up in the air, all the way down to the ground. This would do some serious damage. So, why was the same type of marble that had lasted over 500 years in Italy struggling after less than 20 in Chicago? It seems thin sheets of marble and the Chicago climate were a bad combination. Structural engineer Michael Scheffler analyzed the damage in the 1980s. Well, it had proven the test of time in Italy. Italy has a very benign environment. Chicago has a much different climate than Italy. In Chicago in the winter, you can get below zero and you can get up to 100 degrees. And this had a profound effect on the material's behavior. The problem was something called thermal hysteresis, which basically means an irreversible bending or bowing out of a panel caused by temperature change. With the building known as Big Stan exposed to the extremes of Chicago weather, the outside of the panels were repeatedly heated or cooled more dramatically than the inside. This gradually and permanently altered the internal structure of the marble, causing the panels to bow outwards. They were beginning to warp and pronounced bowing outward as much as an inch and a half at the center of the panel in a four foot two inch height. But thermal hysteresis wasn't just bowing the panels. As they deformed, they became more vulnerable in critical places. Many of the panels were experiencing cracking and spalling at their connections. It was revealed through testing that the material had lost, in some cases, as much as 90% of its strength. Not only did it spoil the clean lines, but there was a real risk that the panels could literally pop themselves off the building. In the 1980s, the marble facade on Chicago's Standard Oil Tower was cracking, and something had to be done to protect people below. A very temporary solution was found, until a complete redesign could be put into place. Stone restoration specialist Robert Gerskis explains. This building was a total challenge because we had to put on straps on over 43,000 pieces of marble. If it wasn't for the straps holding on the marble on the side of the building, uh, we would have a huge problem. Pieces probably would fall off. The ultimate solution was just as bold as the original design. Robert was one of the master stonemasons tasked with replacing all 43,000 heavy marble panels. This job was just massive in its undertaking. This is the largest, probably the biggest replanting job, the tallest replanting job in the world at the time. 
the audacious plan was to recover the entire building in a much tougher Chicago weatherproof stone, granite. We started replanting in 1988. We had to take off 43,000 pieces of marble and replace it with 43,000 pieces of granite, all done on the outside, and the building is still occupied. They did not shut down the building. So the people that worked on this building had to be the best of the best of the business. Replacing the heavy panels, more than 1,000 feet up in high winds, was more than just a technical challenge for Robert and his team. And sometimes we had to contend with very, very high winds. It was very, very scary. You had to be aware of your surroundings. And with that being said, courage is learning how to manage your fear. By 1992, after nearly four years, the biggest renovation on one of the tallest buildings in the world was finally complete. Replacing the thousands and thousands of panels is said to have cost $80 million, nearly half the original construction cost. But nearly 30 years later, the cladding is still going strong. While the drastic solution was expensive, it was a huge success. And since Big Stan's original high-class cladding catastrophe, Architects and engineers no longer use Carrara marble for external coverings anywhere in the U.S.